was wondering about the blueprint and what you disagree with fundamentally. Um, if there's a move, a technological shift to electric cars, people and women being empowered to not have more than three or four children, all these are good things and they're good for human society, cleaner air in London. And, and again, another human-centered environmental group, Mums for Lungs, they just care about their children having clean air. I mean, that's not a conflict between humans and environment, that's both sides winning. And um, I, I, think, I think we should not embrace environmentalism. If you're involved in Christian Aid or, or Oxfam, there are indigenous communities in Africa where the rains don't come and they are suffering and they are human beings who are suffering. And that's one of the main reasons why I'm proudly an environmentalist. I would love to see, for example, charities like Friends of the Earth, Greenpeace, that they don't seem to have like a blueprint, which is like, okay, these are the reductions that we need. This is how we're going to meet it by renewable energy, electric cars, nuclear energy. No one seems to have written this blueprint. And I'd love to see that environmental br blueprint for a greener world where human beings can flourish. And those details should be the things that we're disagreeing on, rather than this kind of neural shortcut of like, oh, environmentalists must hate all people and not want any children and want the economy to be destroyed versus, um, you know, the opposite of that. Thank Sorry. you very much. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed. Shara has written a book called Why Vote Green. There's a little bit of a manifesto commitment in there.